Hello there. Welcome to another one of my videos on shaving soaps I recommend. Our brush tonight is going to be my John Michaud John's Brushes. It's got a 22 millimeter Virginia Shing silver tip knot in it. Hand turned, hand poured, hand turned resin. Just a fantastic and absolutely beautiful, beautiful brush. We're going to set it over here and let it soak a bit. And I'm using my father in law's Boker SS St. Louis. And the soap tonight that we're going to talk about, when I decided to do these this these this series of videos about soaps that I recommend, I didn't have any other requirements except that I liked the soap. If it's difficult to find, if it's discontinued, those are not considerations that I considered. Uh, because a lot of times, particularly like with... Uh, the soap that we're fixing to uh, talk about. Uh, this is a vintage soap, but you can still find it on eBay. You can still find it sometimes locally uh, in uh, vintage shops and things like that. Uh, there are ways to, to acquire it that don't, you know, it don't have to be in current production. And I mean, I got them. So, I mean, that's the deal. So the soap that I'm talking about tonight, and I'm going to go ahead. I have it here in this tin or container, but I'm going to take it out because I'll probably lather it on my palm. But it is none other than Vintage Williams Mug Soap. I actually uh, a fantastic soap. The modern Williams won't be on this list, not because I don't find it an excellent soap. I love it. It works really well for me, but I had to take time to learn how to use it. And most users aren't going to take the time that I took to figure a soap out. That's something that there are those that do. I'm not alone. But modern Williams can be finicky and really, really difficult to get a stable lather with and all kinds of stuff. So I'm not going to put that in my soaps I recommend category because of that reason. Same reason I'm not going to put Martin DeCondra in my soaps I recommend because it costs $65 or $70. It's way too much for the average shaver to mess with most of the time. So, I mean... But if you got the money, I do recommend Martin DeCondra. It's a fantastic soap. But there's soaps out there that are every bit as fantastic that don't cost anywhere near as much. So it's up to you. But this, Vintage Williams, is an absolutely fantastic soap. Now, this doesn't have hardly any of the lemon-type, pledge-type scent, or whatever you want to call it, that... The modern Williams has probably because of its age. It just has more of a soapy smell, but it's fantastic soap. And you'll notice this is a dry puck. No water, no soaking, no nothing, because it's this is when Williams mug soap was good soap. Uh, as and and I'm not knocking Williams. I think it's a fantastic soap. The modern version of it. Once you learn to use it, but when I say a good soap, when this was a good soap, I mean it, this is when this was a soap that was easy to lather, easy to get a stable lather with, and uh, people used it all the time because it worked really well. So, and that's the deal with that. Uh, but everybody that knows me 
knows that I love Modern Williams. I have no problem with it whatsoever, but it was an acquired taste. That's the deal. So let's go ahead and move down and start the shave. You'll have to excuse me. You can see I've got my, I've got another back here and one here. And, uh, I've got my diamond plate somewhere. I've been honing a bit today. That's why the coffee cup and all of that. And uh, so there's a little bit of a mess happening. But it's a lovely, this is a, an absolutely fabulous soap. I wish that it was still made in this way instead of what they've done with the reformulations and the modern versions of the soap. This stuff right here is the bomb. And if you have an opportunity to uh, acquire a cake, a puck, whatever it is you want to call it, a Vintage Williams, by all means, do so because it's a, it's a lovely, lovely shaving soap and one that One that I think you probably will be, excuse me a minute, really happy that you tried. But it's slickers and snot. Hold on a minute. I need to check the magnification. I want to move it just a hair. All right, let's see that. Just a lovely soap. Wonderfully creamy. Lovely slick. Now the, the modern soap, modern Williams, if you learn how to lather it, in my experience, I know that a lot of guys say this is such a superior version of that soap. The only superiority it has, and it's a big one, don't get me wrong, but the only superiority that this soap has over modern Williams is the stability of the lather and the ease with which you can achieve it. Uh, if you learn now, if you learn how to lather Modern Williams, you can get a, just as stable, just as creamy, just as slick of a lather out of it. As you can, the vintage stuff, but you won't do it as quick as I just did. It'll take you a bit of work. That's the deal with that. This stuff is absolutely fantastic soap. And I would love to find more of it. Lovely. 
this could actually use just a hair more water. But it's working just fine. Lovely razor. Again, this was my father in law's razor. I think it's like a half hollow, something like that. Uh, I prefer the, uh, the full hollow blades, but this razor is a razor that I learned straight shaving on, and it feels like home to me. It's a lovely razor. Excuse me a minute. Excuse me. Needed to get a clean washcloth. Uh, it's just it feels like home to me. Uh, I'm so used to the way it feels because I learned on it. Put a little water in that because I need a little bit more slickness or a little bit more wetness rather not slickness uh, just the, the lather to me is too a bit too pasty and I prefer and it does affect slickness absolutely it does but the more water I put in the soap I find the more it affects how much slickness is brought out of the soap but uh, there's also a, a feel on the face that I look for and that has to do with water as well This is lovely. So, I mean, if you're looking for the uh, for the modern. Uh, Blow your head out of the water. Powerful, bold sense. You're not going to get it out of Finnish Williams or modern for that matter. It's a Simple, soapy soap. <laughs> A 
Hold on. Oh yeah. But it's just fabulous. It uh, it's just wonderful. It's what shaving soap shaving soap should be. In my opinion. It's, it's a fantastic shave right there. I am gonna do a bit of touch up. I can't. There it is. Sometimes the the hollows. These hollows right here. And I'm just going to go. Go ahead and hit that too. Just for the heck of it while I'm here. But sometimes. These hollows. Here and here. The, my face puffs out this way, sinks in here, and then comes back out right here. So I have little hollows right here. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes the razor doesn't actually hit that spot all the way down to the skin when I do a north to south or, or south to north pass. And it doesn't get that, so I have to go back to it. But that's all right. It's just shaving. All right, Vintage Williams. And I could use an awful lot of different aftershaves. Uh, but the aftershave that I'm actually going to use, if I can find it, maybe, okay. What I'm using is none other than Aqua Velva Ice Blue. You see, have it marked here. This is a, a vintage Avon container. This is the Queen. And this particular chest set, which has a chrome top and a glass. There's another that has a glass top and a chrome plated bottom. But this is Aqua Velva Ice Blue. And it absolutely goes with Williams and has for many a decade. It's still on the Williams box, I think, Triacle Rub Ice Blue. <laughs> so they go real well together. Fabulous. And I always chuck extra menthol crystals in mine. My eyes are starting to water now from it. That's good. Uh, but anyway, Vintage Williams, if you get the chance to try this soap, you need to. It's fantastic in every way that I can think of, and I highly recommend you try it if and when you can. God bless you. Later.